Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on Atom Editor from Code Karikama with me Abhijit Jagdish. In our last tutorial, we created a simple Python project called Python First Sample that had a single print statement in it printing out Code Karikama. We then went ahead and installed a package called Atom Python Run and used this install package to run our program and saw the output. Now let's go ahead and see how we can convert project folder Python First Sample into a Git repo and push to a remote on GitHub. Before we start, I want you to go ahead and install a package called Git Plus on your editor. If you are unsure on how to do this, please go back to my previous video where I have explained on how to install packages for Atom editors. Once done, come back here and then click on View. In here, click on Toggle Git tab. Notice how a Git pane appears on your right hand side with a button that says Create Repository. At this stage, if you are used to doing everything through the command line, then you would enter the project folder uh, through the command prompt and start typing all your git commands. We don't want to do that. We want to do everything through the editor. We need to do three different things. Initialization, adding a remote, and then publishing changes. We, at the time of making this video, there's a bug in git plus package. So I won't be able to add remote through my editor, but I will be able to do the initialization and pushing changes through my editor. To add my remote, I'll use my command prompt. Let's get started. The first step, which is the initialization step. To initialize my project folder as a Git repo, I'm going to click on Create Repository button here. Notice how it's already pointing to the right project folder. So I'm going to just click on Init button. Notice how the project structure changes in the project pane. In here, a new folder is created with the name .git. This basically has all the git related information in it. This to me is a confirmation that my project folder is now a git repo. Notice on the right hand side how the git pane has changed. It has now unstate changes, state changes, commit message and a button which says create detached commit. This is the end of initialization phase. Now the next stage is adding a remote to my local git repo. As I said before, I'll be doing this on my command prompt. I'll first cd into my project folder. Now I want to add remote to my local repo. To do that, I'm going to type git remote add origin and the final parameter here will be the link to my repo on GitHub. To get that link, let's go to GitHub. As you can see, I have already logged into GitHub here and I have crea also created a repo. Let's click on this repo here. Let's copy this link. Now let's go back to the command prompt and paste the link we copied. Hit enter. This now has created a link between my local repo and the repo on GitHub. Now this completes the second step. The final step is pushing all my repo to GitHub. To do that, let's go back to the Atom editor. Notice at the bottom here, how you can see just this symbol and nothing else. I'll come back to that later. Now, right click on your main.py file here and then let's give a commit message. First commit through Atom Editor. Great. Click on Create Detached Commit button. Once you click on that, notice how this symbol has master next to it. This says all my changes are committed to the master branch on my git repo. Notice how it says no remote next to master here. But we added a remote in our previous step. It says no remote here because we did it through the command prompt and the editor is not updated as yet. Right click here and then say push. Notice how we can now see pushing with an arrow going upwards here. That to me says that the changes are being pushed. And once the push is complete, I will see fetch here as I am saying now. To confirm that, let's go back to GitHub. Now let's refresh this page. Notice how the contents here change. And now I can see my main.py file here. If I click on that, then I can see my print statement, which was there on my local repo. Also, I can see the commit message that I entered here. First commit through Atom Editor. So to recap, we started off with a, a project folder and then we went ahead and converted that project folder into a git repo and then uh, we added a remote to our local git repo 
and then we pushed all the changes to a remote one on GitHub. In our next video, we shall see how easy it is in Atom to make changes to a file, stage, and then commit all those changes. Till then, thanks for watching and take care.